Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Kelly Peterson. I'm a physical therapist that specializes in visceral, pelvic, and orthophysical therapy. Um, I have an Instagram account as the Belly Whisperer. I love to talk about all things belly and all things pelvic floor, intimate parts, weird stuff, pooping, sex, all of it, gut pain. So if you're interested in learning about kind of the weird things that doctors don't really like to talk about or maybe kind of just get misdiagnosed because it's weird stuff um you found the right person because i love to talk about the tummy so i'm excited today to be talking about the relationship between jaw tmj tightness or pain and pelvic floor tightness and pain and kind of what causes that and maybe a couple of ways that you can kind of help to treat it at home so um, i'm excited here we go so what is the TMJ joint? You probably hear a lot of doctors talk about this. You have one on each side of your jaw. It stands for a temporal mandibular joint. Um, it helps attach the jaw basically to the skull. Um, it's common to have upper cervical or upper spine um, dysfunction as well as TMJ issues. Um, if you don't know, if you have TMJ, usually you'll present with difficulty chewing, opening or closing your mouth um, due to pain. You may get popping, clicking, but sometimes you may have a little bit of clicking or popping that isn't necessarily associated with TMJ dysfunction. So one of the main reasons why um, patients that have pelvic floor tightness or pelvic pain also have TMJ um, symptoms is due to the nervous system. So for instance, people with chronic pelvic pain that have um, interstitial cystitis, inflammatory pelvic disease, um, even people with abdominal chronic illnesses like irritable bowel syndrome, irritable bowel disease, Crohn's, um, you're going to have more inflammation going on in your body, meaning your nervous system is going to be upregulated already because of that pain that you're feeling, maybe um, even manifesting in different things like you're getting diarrhea, um, bloating, constipation, difficulty going to the bathroom. And because of these fascial connections that we have from our skull down to the base of our pelvis, um, it can result in having um, postural dysfunction. So for instance, if you have a forward head posture or rounded shoulders, um, this can affect not only your upper cervical spine and your jaw positioning when you're eating, yawning, chewing, but it can also go down the chain, right, and affect our pelvic floor. Um, I've talked about this before a lot on my Instagram about how you know, when you're treating somebody, you're treating the whole body, right? Just because if you're having dysfunction one place, maybe in your wrist, it could be due to a postural issue coming from the spine. Um, so it's really important to um, remember that posture has a huge role. So when we're talking about um, TMJ tightness or pain and pelvic floor pain or tightness, it's really important to identify what is the source or the cause of that tightness. For instance, is it something where your, your therapist goes in and they feel inside of your mouth that you have a stiff joint? You know, maybe it's not gliding inferiorly or laterally, which it needs to do to allow your jaw to open and close for talking, eating, chewing. Um, maybe instead they've checked your, your soft tissue, they've checked the joint, and maybe it's coming from, a, um, from your nervous system, right? Like we've talked about earlier. Maybe it's coming from something else. Um, and also too, like we said before, maybe there's nothing necessarily wrong with your pelvic floor, your jaw, but you're having inflammation somewhere else in your body. And so your, your body's just manifesting it there. It's really, really, really important to see a physical therapist, um, and find somebody that can treat both your jaw and your pelvic floor. You know, not, not everybody's as comfortable with pelvic floor PT or jaw PT, even if you're, um, let's say an orthopedic specialty therapist. So finding the right physical therapist for your, your issues going on is gonna be really important. Everybody's gonna have a different take on it, um, different techniques, right? So your, your visceral skills may be different than my visceral skills um, and pelvic floor skills, but it's, it's really important to recognize that correlation um, and to remember, you know, there's nothing wrong with your head. You are not crazy. It's not all in your head. Okay, so just to review, the correlation or the relationship between TMJ tightness and pain and pelvic floor tightness or pain, um, biggest thing is one, musculoskeletally, right? 
we, we have a skeletal system that's held together by muscles, other tissues. So there's a connection there with posture. Um, number two, there's a neuro uh, nervous system component, right? Meaning, you know, your TMJ or pelvic floor issues could be coming from stress or anxiety or another, um, you know, mental health issue going on or even just a nerve, a nerve issue going on, right? A pinched nerve can refer and cause issues. Um, and then third, the embryo basically splits off into two and forms the mouth opening and the other forms the uh, digestive, urinary and reproductive tracts. And in between that is the spine. So there is a correlation there. Okay, so I had to change positions so I could show you how to use your diaphragm to help stimulate the vagus nerve which can help to decrease tightness and pain in the jaw and the pelvic floor. I mean, really diaphragmatic breathing not only helps to strengthen, you know, your posture and your core, um, as I've mentioned in my earlier post, but it can really help with handling and dealing with chronic pain. I mean, decrease stress, right? Decrease cortisol, which can increase, increase inflammation in our bodies. The biggest thing to remember is letting your jaw, your, your face relax. Your tongue should be resting on the roof of your mouth. With your, with your lips closed, but still keep that jaw slightly apart inside, all right? Um, and then you're gonna just breathe in. And then. And if you're like me, make a little grumbling, a little bit of movement in there. It's a happy tummy, okay? Just eat. <laughs> so um, if you want to go onto my Instagram, there's much better videos. And I break down diaphragmatic breathing in, uh, on multiple levels. Um, I really hope you watch that. I'm going to bring this nice and close. So here's what you're going to do. All right, so resting position of your jaw. I've mentioned this before in one of my other videos, but I want to show you. When your jaw is in resting position or neutral position, kind of like neutral spine, if you've ever gone to Pilates or yoga class, they mention that. Basically what it is, is you take your tongue, you put the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and then what should happen is your lips will close, but your jaw, your teeth remain apart. So when you're in resting position, your teeth should not be together. They should be slightly gapped. So the biggest takeaway is making sure you find somebody that can help you figure out what's going on in your body, um, whether that's a gastroenterologist, whether it's a urologist, your OB, your primary doctor, a physical therapist, your nutritionist, psychologist, um, any medical professional, you know, if you're experiencing pain in different areas of your body and you're just trying to deal with it because somebody told you it's stress or it's in your head, I really urge you to go find help because living with chronic pain, it's really hard on your body. It wears you down, not just emotionally, but physically. Okay, so I suffered from IBS and I know when I was first figuring out what was going on with me, it was exhausting. I was in college, I could barely play sports. I was so ill and I hurt so bad all the time. Um, and when I found the right doctor that helped me, it was unreal and like I said, using physical therapy and my pelvic and visceral skills along with my orthopedic skills, I, I mean, it's a blessing that I'm able to treat my symptoms and manage them without taking medications. Um, so I just want everybody to find that same thing. So check out my page for abdominal pelvic issues.